Josh just got this cream for his stomach. That yeah, but no one cares about Josh. Back at it again, Bakugo Kuwa! Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm joined with Mr. Casper Lee. Hi guys. And we're doing pranks. What? And you're not oh. pranking me? Nope. I thought I'd get you involved in this one, fella. I feel like there's a catch. Now, Casper, have you ever had one of those moments where you've sat on your phone or something and you've called someone by accident in your pocket and you've had a conversation and they can hear everything you're saying, but you didn't realise that you've accidentally called them with your butt? No. That's never... <laughs> But, okay. I have had a lot of times when my mom's done that to me and she's like, saying like how much she's worried about me. Really? When I was younger, yeah. <laughs> well, it happened to me the other day, um, I called my dad with my ass by accident, didn't realise, and I was having a conversation, I was like, oh my god, did I say anything bad? And he was yeah. like, no, you didn't, but I'll tell you what, it made quite a funny video idea. Shout out to you, dad, this one's for you, let's see if it works. Also, can you tell your dad to respond to my Snapchat stories? Oh, um, yeah. I send them them. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't even know my dad had You know Snapchat. when you post a story, you say send to story, and then you also yeah, yeah. send it individually to you. I think that's someone else pretending to be my dad on Snapchat. That's why you asked for some money. Anyway, so I've conducted a list of different scenarios that we can act out yeah. whilst we accidentally butt call one of our YouTube friends. Oh, oh we've got we've got a lot. We've got so many friends. We've We're got... not lonely. One is the loneliest number that you ever do. You're gonna try it at home. This is what we've got to do to make it real. You've got to put your phone. Not next to your mouth, or it's too obvious. It's got to sound like it's by your anus. Secondly, we've got to already start the conversation before we call them. So we start as soon as, as, soon as they, they answer, it'll be yeah. too obvious. Too obvious. We've got to already start having the conversation about it and go from there. And then recap. Okay, round one, we're going to call Byron, our good friend Byron, and we're going to tell him, well, he's going to find out that we're dropping Josh from our group of friends and we're promoting Grant instead of Josh. I mean, it's all about that we can't have too many people in the group. Yeah, because... Don't get me wrong though, I, I genuinely, genuinely like, I love, I don't mean, I'm getting me wrong, so I won't ever let him know, but I genuinely like um, Josh, I think he's great, but I, you know, at the moment I just think Grant... Grant's kind of it. more like fresh and, you know, Josh has had the last few months to kind of build on his, yeah. his YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, and it's obviously not working no, as no, well but as... Yeah, like, what do you suggest? What do you suggest? Just drop him. So I feel like I, I mean, if it's gonna happen, then I'm not gonna want to do it. No but, way. But the thing about Josh is like he tries really hard, but Grant is far better and far more motivated than him. I hung up. Okay, next round we're going for Mikey Pierce, and I think we should go for we're moving to LA to start a YouTube super house where whoever you're phoning isn't invited. Sorry, Mikey. All right, here we go. Back when I went, I feel like back when I was in LA, there was like it's more at like the Hollywood Hills Yo. kind of area. So I think if we're gonna if we're gonna do it, then we should start it like that. My only issue with it is like how many people can come from the Buttercream gang. I feel like it's a bit them. awkward because obviously everyone kind of knows that we want to start something together. Yeah, um, but I just feel like like I said before, there's too many people involved. Yeah, and also on top of that, when I looked at places while I was there, yeah, it was. It was really hard to kind of find somewhere that was both in the right location and at our price range and the right size. Okay. So you, we, who are we not talk, bringing I along? I don't know, yeah, I don't know. Something I mean, it's talk. obvious if you... Mikey and... Byron. Well, I think it's even Mike. yeah, it, well, it, it would be either down to Mikey or Jack. <laughs> no. Yo. But we'd have to, but we'd have to, um, we get Ollie to, I don't know. Would Ollie say it? Would Ollie tell him? I mean... No, he wouldn't. Maybe we could make something up. Have you thought about packing it? Where's my phone? Here it is. Oh, Hello? Yeah, are you good? What the? Did you just call me? No, you called me. Have you been on the phone this whole time? Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. I think I, I think I sat on my phone and called you. <laughs> what did you hear? It was nothing bad. We were just talking no, about. I know, I know. We were just talking about a holiday. Oh, it's a shame, man. We're really looking forward to having you as part of the group. You should have hung up, your nosy Parker. So for this round, we're going to call up Alfie Days, and we're going to pretend general chit-chat, but we're in the bath. We've got to make it sound like we're in the bath. Yeah. Alfie, can't take your call. Okay, Alfie can't answer. Let's try Zoe. My music's gone off. Wait. Yeah, what? My music's gone off. Hello? Let me try and reach my... Have you got my phone? No. But, yeah. What were you thinking about the other night when you left early? When? When you, when you left the club early. I don't know. That's kind of strange. Joke. Can you pass Come on, the... you guys are s at this. Can you pass me the shower jar? Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> what? Do you. Can you wash. You are at this. Can you wash my back? <laughs> here we go. 
Alfie, can you pass me my razor so I can shave my asshole? <laughs> 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 Thing is, Cass was actually rubbing my back. <sighs> We're doing prank calls where we bu we butt dial people and talk about certain things. The problem is, most people don't butt dial me because I'm dead. Oh. Yeah, but not on my phone. You're saved as Mrs. Poopy Butthole. That's still M. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Byron messed me again. Hey bro, not sure if you dialed me by accident. Mikey's messaging you. Should go for. Oh. Yo. It's a long one. He's gonna send you a long time. Should we go for should we go for Grant? Oh, I feel yeah. like Grant will fall for it. Yeah. Oh my god, let's go for Grant. Right, what can we do for Grant? One of us got an STD. Okay, one of us, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. checking. We're, we're checking for an STD. Well, that's pretty normal. No, I'm kidding. Well, I don't think it. Like, I don't think it's technically one yet. I don't think it's technically one yet. I don't think it's technically one yet. I don't think it's. I don't think it's like it is what it is so far. That's but so it's just like at the moment it's just inflamed and like hurts. But I'm just yeah, worried about it. I mean, but let me look. But then don't. But then no, I'm not, I'm not gonna see your shoes. If I look at it, I can no, tell no, you if no, it's no, similar no, to no, the no, one no, I had. No, no. Wait, can you pass my shoes? Yeah, but Joe, honestly. Yeah. How are you gonna fix it if you don't know what it is? And STDs are very serious. No, the thing is, yeah, that's, what, thing is, that's what I'm... Grant says, Think your phone is unlocked and butt dialing. Oh! I'll call him back. I'm gonna call him back and like, mate, what did you hear? Yeah. Wait, then you're not here now. Then you're here. Hey, man, what's up? No, nothing. What's, uh, what's up? Your phone, I think, was butt dialing me. And I, uh, I think I heard some stuff that I shouldn't have heard. Uh, oh, Just be careful, bro. What did you hear? No, no, I don't know why I was asking Casper in the first place, to be honest. Cheers. Cheers bye, bye. Uh, oh my god! He's such a good friend, I, I actually am, I'm going to hell. Next up, Josh Peters. Yeah, shall we do that? Mm -hmm. Connor Maynard is having a child. <laughs> so then, what I don't, what I don't understand is... What I don't understand is, what I don't understand is, what, but what I don't understand is, like, why would he tell uh, you before he would uh, tell me? That's just a, like, I don't know, it's a bit hot, no. hectic there, isn't it? The thing is, I know, no. I know the girl. John! Her name's Francine. He's gonna be in so much trouble. Because yeah, he doesn't even know her other than they went to school. John! That's gonna be, that's gonna be like mainstream media. I mean, she's kind of like, he, I don't think he takes any situation seriously. No, but like, he's having a freaking kid. He, Jesus Christ. He doesn't, like, believe in it. I don't know. In, like, the law or anything. He doesn't believe in the law. But then, I mean, you know, he doesn't pay his He's not some sort of bloody outlaw. <laughs> he doesn't pay his parking tickets. He probably thinks they're not even going to be able to come after him for it. What, for having a child? Yeah, but like... I think that's a bit different to paying a bloody parking no, ticket. No, but it's like, they say, it's like they say in the, like, in the uh, Kanye West song, um, Gold Diggers. 18 years, 18 years, and then you at the end of 18 what? years you find out it wasn't his. I never really understand what the lyrics mean. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Thing is, if it was gonna happen to anyone out of our group, it was gonna be bloody Connor. <laughs> I can't believe that. Anyway, he's made my dinner. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. That was actually a joke. He was, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's WhatsApp audio in. Oh my god. Hello. Hello. What the hell were you guys talking about? Did you just call us? I just Mate, obviously he hasn't told you yet, but it's not Jack, it's Connor. Connor's having a child. Why are we even listening into our conversation? It's really bad. That it's bad. And my chest is pounding. <laughs> I didn't mean to um, call you, by the way. I, just, I was sat on my phone, so if you could, like, obviously he's going to probably tell you at some point, but until then, can you please, Josh, not, not mention anything? Well, I, I'm kind of doing, I'm weird, no, just, just, me. just be a friend and just ignore it. Just. Like, do your own thing until Connor mentions it. What, is he gonna, like, move back to That's the time? thing. He doesn't take this seriously. Yeah. How, how long is she? We don't, we don't, I don't know. How long is, how long is she? I don't know. It's about five foot seven. Where are you? Casper's around mine, filming. You're filming, huh? <laughs> what the f*** is wrong with you guys? Sorry. <laughs> 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 There's big ginger feet pacing around the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I know.
Right, so there we go. A few of them were successful. A few of them... We didn't call Byron back, did we? <laughs> I just realised. Hopefully Josh tells Byron. <laughs> we just haven't told a lot of these people that yeah. they were they were pranks. Maybe you guys can tell them on Twitter or something. Yeah, we'll leave our links down to them all below on their Twitters and everything else like that. Cool. Go Speaking down. about links. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking about links, subscribe to Casper Lee. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe uh, for more pranks like this. I hope you enjoyed it. All best. Take care. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye, Ooh. guys.